This is Anthony from All Metal Music. I'm on the phone with Millie of Creator. How have you been? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Hordes of Chaos is coming out in January. What can the fans expect to hear sound-wise compared to your other albums? They can definitely expect something really brutal. They can, they will, if they, if they like, if they like Creator's sound on, uh, Creator songs on, like, like, Enemy of God or Violent Revolution, Extreme Aggressions, or Pleasure Kill, they will not be disappointed. It is uh, an album that is, um, the song, the songwriting is kind of in the same vein as, um, the, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a best of kind of thing, uh, creator's best moment combined on one record, so, um, they can uh, expect extreme brutality. Who and what were some of your influences while writing Hordes of Chaos? Um, mainly our back catalog and our fans. We have played a lot of live shows with this, um, with with Enemy of God. We have played more than uh, 200 shows or something, and um, we were influenced by basically this these 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 um, shows and the power and the energy that we get back from our fans. So the whole album is a uh, tribute to our audience and to our fans that are spread. Uh, across the globe worldwide um, Heart of Chaos is, uh, is, is, is dedicated to, to them and uh, basically it's, it's an album that's inspired by nothing but creators old songs and the, 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 life, the life energy The song War Curse off of Hordes of Chaos is streaming on your MySpace page now why was that song chosen to be the first one for people to hear? Um, basically because it's kind of, it's a very powerful song. It's a very much in your face song. It's a nice glimpse, first glimpse for the record. Um, it has a, it has a very, very, um, fast, um, drive. And it's very, very, um, brutal riffs. And, and I think it's kind of like very characteristic for the record, for, Hearts of Chaos. It's it's uh, kind of it kind of gives you a, a nice glimpse of what to expect. Do you plan to make any music videos for songs off Hordes of Chaos? Yeah, Hearts of Chaos, the title track. Uh, we have already had done a video for that one. Um, it's gonna be uh, um, uh, the visual kind of um, very very um, much. Influenced by movies like 300, um, Conan the Barbarian, and uh, Excalibur, it is um, very metal. A lot of um, blood and swords, and you know uh, the good things. And uh, you get the full treatment with that. And um, uh, it is uh, now it is, a, it is a video clip that is um, definitely. Um, it's almost done. I talked to the director today, and they're still editing things, and they're still working on things, but it will be released before Christmas. That sounds pretty awesome. Swords are always good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got quite a few of them. <laughs> what have you okay. been listening to lately? What, what? What have you been listening to lately? I listen to a lot of stuff. You know, I listen to when I'm at home. I, I prefer listening to listening to um, um, some more laid back stuff like Dredge and and um, and Muse and stuff like that. Uh, when it comes to heavy stuff, um, I was really impressed by the Last Testament record and um, lots of stuff. You know, lots, some sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm sometimes I'm, I'm only listening to older stuff, sometimes I buy some new disc, uh, so all kinds of sh stuff. Creator re-released a Live in Berlin DVD with some bonus material. Why did you decide to re-release it on DVD? Because a lot of our fans asked us for this. Um, the thing is, the um, videotape came out in 1991 or 92. Uh, and that's a long time ago, and there has never been uh, an actual DVD release of that. 
event, and it's been um, a very special event for us because it was we were the first metal band that played um, after the wall came down. So all these people that lived behind the Iron Curtain uh, had the opportunity to play to see their very first um, um, metal show, and. Um, for, for that matter, this is a, it's a very special show for us. Creator's been around for 24 years. How has music and metal and metal changed over those years? Like anything, like 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 everything, you know, everything's always changing. Like the things, um, um, the times are changing, and I think metal is a very, very um, strong, um, very very. Um, it's something that doesn't change in its in its in its in its um in its roots you know what i mean it's i think um of course the metal scene has has had its ups and downs over the years the 90s were full of the grunge thing and it became a bad word for some people to listen uh the metal has has become a became a bad word for a while for some people but nowadays uh, you know all these poses are gone and um metal is back stronger than ever and um um i've seen you know like i said I'm, i've seen of course i've seen bad times and uh, good times and but on the other hand um that's just the way things are going could go you know do you have anything special planned for the 25th anniversary of creator Oh no, uh, we're not really big anniversary. Uh, band. We're not a big anniversary band. We haven't um, celebrated any of our anniversaries. We haven't planned the 20th anniversary. Uh, we haven't um, celebrated any of those, you know. Because I think what we live, we live in the in 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 the here and now, and not in the past. So of course, I'm kind of like happy about the fact. Um, that that we're still going and we're still strong, going strong. But on the other hand, um, I'm not the anniversary kind of guy. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the National Socialist black metal scene? <sighs> you know, to be honest, I don't want to talk about this. I mean, nation. This is something. This is fucking. To me, that's an oxymoron. I mean, if you're into metal, you cannot be a national socialist. It's not. It's not. It's not going to work. And uh, and not for me. And um, I'm, I'm not really uh, willing to talk about these bands. All right. Um, you're going to be doing a North American tour in the springtime. Are there any cities you're looking forward to playing that are always good shows? Oh, basically, to be honest with you. Um, the whole country is amazing, you know. I mean, I'm looking so looking forward to, to come to the states. I, I really do like touring the states because we have so many friends there. We've made so many friends there over the last couple of years, and and um, we we hope to see them all at the shows. And and our fans, our American fans, are the most brutal. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, the fans can expect like a real. Um, Creatorish, um, aggressive, brutal treatment at the shows, and everybody will go home happy, and we will be go home happy. We'll go home happy, and it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. I'm really looking forward to to the to the U.S. tour. There have been rumors flying around for years now that Creator, Sodom, and Destruction would tour together. What prevented that from happening for this upcoming tour? Um, and to be honest with you, I think it, 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 um, the fact that the guys from Sodom don't want to tour, um, made, uh, made it uh, very difficult to put this tour together. We wanted to do this tour. We want, we've been wanting to do this tour for years. I think Destruction wanted to do this tour for years, but it just didn't happen because of Sodom. So I think it will never happen. Um, too bad. Yeah, I know schmier has been very vocal about it. He yeah, yeah, he wanted he wanted this tour to happen very bad, and I wanted this tour to happen because I'm really, um, you know, we've done it over here in Europe, but we have never done it in the States, and it could have been a great tour, but um, on the other hand, you know, if the Sodom guys are not into it, there's nothing we can do about it, you know. Yeah, well, that's all I had planned. Thanks for the interview. Is there anything you'd like to say in conclusion? Oh, yeah, thanks for for um, the support, and 
We will come to the U.S. and destroy it.